All right. Okay, there's another person. No, it's just us two. Well, let's begin where we left off yesterday. Okay. Pass mm, part two. Right. Um, did you did you print the page or? Yes, I printed it. You printed it. Yep. Okay. So remember, yesterday we talked about the story with the professor and the student. Yeah. And the crazy question that he asked. Mm -hmm. okay. We we said yesterday that in in the in this exercise exercise two a. We said that the professor gave us a test on the day of the test. He had told us to expect it before the day of the test. She had been struggling with the test with before, and she felt confident the day of the test, right? So we were learning how to compare the present, sorry, the past with the past perfect. The past with the past perfect. Hold on, there's another student. All right, so today is June 9, 2020. And we are gonna practice the simple past and past perfect. All right. Practice a simple past and past perfect. So, first, I would like for you to listen and repeat after me. All right. Hi, si me veo, ya me veo. Hello. How are you? Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. All right. The simple past, past perfect, and past perfect <laughs> continuous. <laughs> Use the simple past for two or more events that are part of the same past time period. Listen and repeat. He raised his hand and asked a question. Okay. Thank you. He had told us to expect a test. We took it last week. And I've been struggling, but I felt confident on the day. I've been struggling, but I feel confident. All right, very good. So, you that are teachers, what is the difference between a simple verb and a continuous verb? Action. Yeah, what is the difference? Oh my, I know you teach I'll this. You have to teach I'll this. Because uh, you use the symbol for action that you are doing at the moment and continue. You are still, you are still doing the activity. So you use an okay. auxiliary for continuous and for simple, you can use it. Okay, okay, that, that, that's a good explanation. And how about you, Sarah? Is that your name? Can you hear? 
Me? Yeah. No, I'm uh, Mitzi. Yeah, because I see Sarah in, in your name yeah, right there. Yeah, I'm sorry. My name is Mitzi Sarai. That's why that I have Sarah. <laughs> okay, okay. So, Mitzi. Um, yeah. Mitzi, how do, you, how do you explain the difference between the simple and the continuous verbs? I, I can remember that the past continuous is about the action that you are keep doing at this time. And past simple, I don't remember to, <laughs> I can't remember. Okay. All right. Well, basically a continuous, a continuous verb is something that is temporary or ongoing. That means it's happening at the moment, like Michelle said, or it's background information. Background information means it's not the most important thing that I am saying. Okay. For example, if I say I lived in I lived in Los Angeles, I was working as a doctor. The important thing is, in my case, that I lived in Los Angeles. The background information is I was working as a doctor. Right? So we use it to add little things that happen in the back. Okay. Simple versus continuous. So we have to know what things are simple and which things are continuous. But for this first exercise, we're going to complete the anecdote with the verbs given. Use one simple past and one past perfect verb in each sentence, in each sentence. All right. Remember. Use the past perfect for an event that is part of a time period before another event in the past, the super past. Let me help you with the first few um, answers, okay? Remember, one simple past, one past perfect in each sentence. Right before I move here, I lose my job. What happened first? You move here or you lose your job? Yes. You lose your job first, right? And then you move. Mm -hmm. So... How do I how do I write this sentence? Mitzi or Michelle? Right before I move here, I lose my job. Which one is simple past? Which one is past perfect? Right before I move here is past perfect. Okay. Past perfect? No, let me help you with this one then. Okay, right before I moved here, I had lost my job, okay? You know, in this case, the person lost their job first and then they moved, right? <laughs> and then they moved. No, okay. Remember, the past perfect is for an event that happened first okay, okay. 
Yo se pierdo, yo con ella queda bonita. All right. Next, Michelle, can you help me with the next sentence? Mm. Okay. Uh, I I don't have an interview for weeks and I be concerned. I think that the first one is uh, past perfect. Okay. And now I I was concerned. No, come on. Yes. Yes. I right. hadn't had an interview for weeks and I was concerned. Okay. Okay. Please finish this paragraph, exercise B. Yo, I, I have a question about it. The first one. Uh, you, your, no, no, no more question. You put it no? there. No, 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 I'm okay. Okay. Well, finish the, the next four blanks and then tell me when you are finished. Yeah. All right, Mitzi. Yeah, okay. I think that I finish. I'm not sure, obviously. Okay. I finished too. All right. Well, let's see what you have. Michelle, can you tell me the next sentence? Okay. And I told uh, about going back to the school, but actually I didn't want to. And then out of the blue, I got an email from an old friend that I hadn't con contact in Asia. Asia. Okay. Uh -huh. I didn't contact it in ages. Okay. Now, the last sentence is good. But the the other sentence, you put two verbs in the simple past. One of them has to be simple past, and one is past perfect. All right, Mitzi. Okay. Um. And I thought about going back to school. It's okay. No. I had to. <laughs> yes. I had. I had thought about going back to school, but actually, I, I hadn't want to. No, we already have the past perfect. Now you need to put the simple past. Uh, I didn't want to. 
<laughs> yes, it's easy because the instructions say one simple pass and one pass perfect in each sentence. So not two and two, it's just one and one in each sentence. I didn't want to. Right? Okay. All the noise. <laughs> well, look, exercise C. Complete the rest of the anecdote with the past perfect or past perfect continuous form of the verbs given. Sometimes both are possible. Then take turns retelling the story to a partner. All right. So remember, past perfect is an event that, boom, is finished. Past perfect continuous is that event that was in progress in the past. Okay. So, sometimes both are possible. And it turned out that he had started up his own company. And, and this one, we're only using the past perfect in the simple form or the continuous form, no simple past. And it turned out that he had started up his own company, but he can you help me with this one? But he he, he was strolling. No, not simple past. No, no, no. Okay. Not past continuous. Past perfect continuous. Do you know the past perfect continuous or not? He had been strolling. No he had been strolling. Yes. He's been struggling. Okay. But he'd been struggling to find someone to work for him for some time. And he. He hadn't found. He hadn't found. Anyone suitable. Well, actually, he, Michelle. Here. In past. Not, no. Hot here. Actually, he had hired. Okay. Hired. Okay. Uh, but she, she had been quite, quite in. Okay, Th think about it. When a person quits a job, is it continuous or it happens one time? Yeah, it happens one time. So right there, it's not the past okay. perfect continuous. It's just the past perfect. Right. So what should it be? But she Okay, but she quit after the first month because she Exactly. Okay. Had what? Had broken into the home or into the house. And I opened the fridge to find someone. Had eaten. Had eaten, yes. Number nine, I had known my husband for three years when we. Got married. Got married, yes. 
Julie was very pleased to see that John. That clean, clean it. Clean. That clean, very good. Clean. That clean the kitchen. All right, very good, very good. Can I erase it? Yep. It da -da -da, all summer, so the grass was completely dead. It hadn't rained. It rained. Why? I don't know. It makes sense for me. Okay, it makes sense. Yes. I mean, first it didn't rain, and that's why all the grass was dead. Mm. Right. Number twelve, Michelle. When he arrived right, at the yeah. party, Julie had just left. Excellent. 13? I hadn't bought any milk. Very good. I hadn't bought any milk. Yes. 14. The laundry was wet. It rained while I was out. Yes, it rained. It rained. Hold on. That one not. That one is had rain. Because first it rains and the result is that the laundry got wet. Okay. okay. So yes, remember yesterday I told you that we use the past perfect to give explanations. Mm -hmm. This is like an explanation. Okay, and the next one is too. William felt ill last night because he had eaten, had eaten. too many cakes. Too many cakes. Oh, I want some cake. Kiko. Mm -hmm. Last September. Mid. Yes. Okay, come meet William last September. Meet in the past is met, okay? Met. Met. Eh. met. The difference between uh, the meet, like you eating, at meet. The, uh, meet, like the, the pronunciation uh, uh, well, between carne and conocer. It's the same. Okay. It's a homophone, me and meet. Okay. But in the past, it changes, met. Okay. Yes. Meet and meet. Sometimes we have these courses for phonology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and um, I definitely recommend them to you. Um, and they, in, in those courses, you learn like the, the difference in certain words and the pronunciations, the common mistakes that we make as uh, Mexican speakers of English. And um, yeah, meet and meet have the same pronunciation, different spellings. It's called a homophone, okay? Okay. 17, first I tidied the flat, then I First, I tied out flat, then I. Just sit. Remember, simple past or past perfect. Those are the two options. Okay. It's simple Let's past. See. Let's see. Michelle, Michelle, Sam. All right. First, I tied it the flat, then I sat down and had a cup of coffee. Okay. 18, John. Had played, 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 is 
perfect pass. Perfect pass. John had played the piano when he was a child. He did it. Does he play now? No. John played the piano when he was a child. Yes, John played the piano when he was a child. Okay, now let me let me explain this. In when clauses use the same tense before and after when to talk about things that happen in the same period of time. Uh, can you move your your cursor? I can see the Here, in, sorry, sorry. Uh, in what classes? Yeah, so in this sentence, you know, we have we have was, which is in the simple past. So whatever is before when also needs to be in the simple past, in this case, play. In this case, we're talking about the time period when he was a child. Okay, when he was a child, he played the piano. It's funny, the dog only barks when I open my window. <laughs> See, my window is closed, there's no barking. He stops. I got it. Okay. Yes, I got it. <clears throat> yes, I got it. Okay. And number nineteen. It had snowed during the night. Yes, when I opened the curtains, the sun was shining, but the ground was white. It had snowed during the night. Perfect. 20. When Julie got home from her holiday, her flat was a mess. John? No. Had the party? No. What is the past had, perfect? Had. Past yes, perfect? Had, had. Had, had. Mm -hmm. had, had. Yes. John had had a party. Very weird, but it is correct. Mm -hmm. All right. Can I erase everything? Yeah, right. I mean, you can you can still see it. Hold on, where is it? Where is it? Good? Yep. All right. Uh, 
All right. So complete the following sentences with true information about yourself or others using the past perfect. Are we going to write down or are we going to answer here talking about this? Um, please write it down and then we will um, talk about it. Okay. Okay. Tell me when you are finished, please. Okay. With the work, because we are going oh. to talk about a lot of things. Um, okay. Before I start kindergarten or a camp, Paulina had destroyed a couple of I think that I don't remember that. But Why I you don't that. remember? You don't talk with your family? What? Why you don't remember about that? Uh, I don't remember because I was born in 1997. I'm 22 years old. And, and in fact, in that year, it was uh, the hurricane. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that I remember is that they told me that I had two months old. So that's all the thing that I remembered about that. And you are 22, right? Yeah, I'm 22 years old now. Okay, I'm 30. I remember every day of my life. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's so natural. You are so young. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Before I may start to kindergarten, I had lived with my uh, in my parents' house. There in in Veracruz or in Puebla? Um, uh, you're just actually, a actually, I'm from a small town. It's called Huatusco, but I'm living here on Cordoba. It's a different city. So I live in there. I had lived in there with them, and then we moved from from Huatusco to Cordoba. Because my mom changed the school. She's now, uh, she's not working, but she has a place 
uh, as a principal in a kindergarten. So we move, when she moved to the job, we moved with her. So now we are living on Cordoba. Obviously, I, I have lived in other places, but this is my home, Cordoba. Your hometown. Yeah, so before I I'm, I'm start in the, heart, in the kindergarten, I live it with my, in my parents' house. Do you like to live with them? Yes, because it's a different, um, a different place. They give you all the things that you want. They care, take care of you. Don't problems, don't jails, don't nothing. But now, I mean, I live only with my parents. It's, come on, guy. I need to do this. <laughs> in my other life, the people doing the things for me. And now I need to do that. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but it was a long time ago. Long time ago. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you yes, you, you are me a little bit. And I start to talk. Yes. <laughs> no about me. The class today is for me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, before I finished high school, I had lived in Chilpancingo. Okay. It is a town here in, in Guerrero. Why you change your town? Uh, because I started studying at the university and I changed the, the cities because we had to study something. No, sales. <laughs> Are you living with your parents? No, here in Acapulco, I live alone. Okay. Yeah. So your parents uh, are still on, on in Chilpancingo? Yeah, they are still there. Okay. Are you okay living there? Yeah. Um. I feel I I have been living here like four years. No, five years, and I like here. I, I like go to the beach, and, and I prefer to live here than <laughs> living in Chilpancingo. No! Chilpancingo is boring. <laughs> yeah, it's really boring uh, because you don't have, like, um, places to go to have fun, and here is a little bit more attractive than there. Okay, let me know something. You prefer the traffic, the pollution, <laughs> the bad people, and all the nature, the, the quiet places, and those things. Come on, girl. Um, something like that. I think that um, I, I have heard uh, more freedom than being at my home with them. OK, you, you use that word, freedom. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, okay next, <laughs> next sentence. <laughs> okay, we are going to stop here. <laughs> Talk about next that. sentence. Next Continue. Continue. question. <laughs> what about you? What had you done before you finished high school? Okay, when I finished my high school, I had driving long time to different places and kind of 12 hours driving, something like that. It's weird for a woman, standard driving and other things in a less age. You know, high school is 18. So I started to drive at 14 years old. So when I finished my high school, Come on, I drive a long time to different places. <laughs> yes. That's materials. Okay, next one. Uh, before, you can... AMLO, uh. before AMLO got elected as president, <clears throat> I had been disagree with the government. But it was like, it was the before I was born, my mom you didn't say anything about that. I'm not sure, maybe it's, 
um, something that the, my father showed me. And I saw a, li uh, a little things that when I was growing up, I decided when I have my boat, when I have my ID, I never going to select free, free government. So I always feel disagree with, with that, with the, the last president. You're not disagree. <clears throat> No, no? Said, you didn't say anything for number four. Yeah, I'm talking about that. One, two, I'm talking three, about four. that you didn't say it before I was born, my mom. Kiki. Oh. Again, again, so you're talking number four. Yeah. Yes. Before AMLO got elected as a president, I had been in disagree with the government, right? Okay. No, number four. <laughs> no, what is the number four? One, no, two, three, four. For example, no, you didn't write down the before I was born, my mom. For, I'm going to I'm going to tell something. Okay. Uh, tell me. Before I was born, my mom had tried to adopt a water girl. Again, again. Before I was born, my mom had tried. Adopt a other girl. So you have a, a sister or brother that is not your... No. Uh, uh, afford, unfortunately, uh, I, my mom got pregnant. Well, I, I, can't, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> but, but no, I don't have another sister. I have two little brothers but i was the first one okay. i don't have question for that <laughs> congratulations <laughs> <laughs> you can say anything another another thing about you before you born oh come on I'm lost. I'm right only. Yes, shit. Sorry. I'm right. <laughs> number five. As like four. Number four. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you skipped it. Yes. Sorry. Before I was born, my mom had work. Work. Uh -huh, had work as a teacher. Okay. And, she uh, 20, 22 years. She had 22 years when 22 years old. And then when she when you reached born. 23, she was pregnant. Pregnant. <laughs> yes, ma'am. It was a, a good idea to have a child. <laughs> yes, that's the reason that I want to get a, a job as a teacher. Maybe it's my time, my chance. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding, no man. I'm okay. This is my moment. Again? Okay, now we can go with before Amla got elected as president. People had elected Peña Nieto. I put that. I don't know if that is okay. What? <laughs> People Everybody had elected. made the same mistake. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> you repeat it? I put people had had elect Peña Nieto. It's a key. Yes, they had elected. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. It's true. What's your what's your dog's name? Uh, it's Zeus. Is what? Say hello, Zeus. Zeus. Oh, okay, okay. It's nice. <laughs> Thank you. He's cute. He can't be alone. That's why he was barking alone. Uh, okay. He likes to be touched. Yeah. Fighting. Uh, yeah. That's cute. That's cute. All right. Do we finish now, yeah. or uh, are <laughs> we going to keep talking about <laughs> about me? <laughs> 
about my dog. That's, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I want to show you something before we go. You know, good, good exercise, you know. You showed me that you're really good at, you know, speaking. Both of you. Let me close my... Thank you, thank you. I find I was nervous the yesterday when we had to present ourselves. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why I'm going to talk about me. But now I think that I have more confidence talking with you, Michelle. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's really good. Actually, my sister was in front of me taking a, a class online and she asked me, hey, they are your friends? And I said, no, man. And she said, hey, you are talking blah, 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 a lot of things. You don't know. Yeah, yeah. You, we don't know each other, yeah. but it's good to so have I'm always, I'm always talking. Don't worry. <laughs> Sometimes I don't understand. And I say, okay, could you repeat, please, again? And yeah, that's good. Okay, you have cells. We have this thing. Oh, <laughs> um, it's, it's a beautiful what rabbit. What is it? It is a rabbit. Yes. And I we have rabbit. <laughs> what kind of rabbit is it? Lion. I don't know. It's yeah, like because it looks different lion, than the rabbit. Lion, lion I know. rabbit or something like that. Lion rabbit. How is that lion? Uh huh. It's a lion, lion head. Ah. It's beautiful. I okay. had the same. I had the same type of rabbit. Really? Come on, yeah. guy. Could I yeah. send you this rabbit? Yes, send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> we we have in a small. We have a small house, so oh, this thing, poo it's in everywhere, difficult. pee everywhere, and the smell, the smell, the smell. So it's nasty for me. <laughs> but you know, when you have a little sister, you need to permit certain things. You know, you can train him. Is it, him. is it him or her? You have a book or something like that? Yes, yes. Wait, no, but this, this, this is what <laughs> you do. Yes or no? All right, so you, you know those big boxes that you use to put clothes and other things inside? Yeah, I think it's so. uh -huh. The boxes, you can buy them at Aurora Soriana for like 150 pesos. It's a big box. We have a cage. Yeah, the, the cage guy, is not good. The cage is not good. No, this cage is only for the sleeping. Because yeah. he is on the full house, uh, jumping, um, biting, everything. Poopy, doing different things. But the cage is only for the sleep. And this yeah. thing starts as, as a little thing. And then growing, growing, growing. Yeah. Growing. <laughs> yeah, yes. I had I had a rabbit. I had a rabbit, but then I started to travel in Mexico, and I had to give the bunny to somebody. Mm -hmm. But it was exactly a black lion head. Yeah, That's why when when I when I saw him, I got really excited. Like oh my gosh! What color but is your your rabbit? It was exactly like yours, a black rat, a black lion head. Yeah, I think I have a picture. I don't have it anymore. I gave it to my uh, one of my students to take care of it. Let me see. Let me see. I think maybe you can see it. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's this. This is small. Yeah, right there was like three months. Three months old. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I was in a trip, and when I came back, I discovered that we have a new pet. And I say, come on, <laughs> what happened with that? Because when I was a child, my mother says, no, I never going to permit that. And, and come on, I came back, and I saw a fucking rabbit here in my house. <laughs> come on. <laughs> but I do the same thing. Like I do some pictures about the rabbit. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. It's here. We need to use it for something. Yeah. <laughs> for pictures, right? Yeah. Um, 
Well, yeah, like I said, get, get a box and make a hole in the box, okay? Make a hole in the box. And inside the hole, you put a lot of food on one, on one side. Okay. For example, so the box is like this, right? Mm -hmm. You have the food over here and the hole over here. So the rabbit enters the hole and goes eat the food. Mm -hmm. And the crazy thing about rabbits is that they eat at the same time that they use the bathroom. Really? I don't know if you've noticed that. Yes, they eat at the same time that they use the bathroom. So that box, they will eat, but at the same time, they will use the bathroom. And, but the bad thing is that every day or every other day, you need to clean the, the box. You take out the, food, the extra food, throw it away and clean it with soap and water. But only like that can you train your rabbit because we had a rabbit too um, for two months and the rabbit only peed on the floor maybe three times, yes. on the floor maybe two times. You know, it was not very common, only sometimes it happened. My sister says, yes, he's going to the restroom. And I say, no, man, this is the kitchen. No, it's the restroom. So every time, every, morning, every moment that he decides to go to pee, he comes to the kitchen and pee and poo. There, only there. And I say, no, por Dios, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. okay. That's too our bad. Time. The rabbits are for time. Yes, yes. Um, Yasmin? Yeah. Hello, Hi. welcome to the class. Thank you. Good, it's good. All right, so look, let me explain uh, what you're going to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it, I don't know if you remember what the director told you. The first two weeks of this course, we're going to use it to discuss grammar, 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 and all the major topics that are going to be on the San Diego University test. And on the third week, we're going to start working on the writing and the reading and we're going to have a sample test for the writing and in the last week we're going to practice the writing and the speaking part of course during those weeks we're also going to do other things not just that but that is going to be our focus okay so tonight for homework i am going to send you a link to this website maybe you know the website it's called british council all right and on british council you're going to do some exercises all right once once you have done the exercise i think it's going to be like two or three exercises and you got more than 90 a 90 90 or higher you're going to take a screenshot and send it to me, okay? Just in case that I fail, what happens? Yes, yeah. well, if you, fail it, if you fail it, you can do it again, okay? It's a web page, it's a free web page. Um, you can do it again. And in fact, when you finish, it shows you your mistakes. So you know not to make the same mistakes, okay? I hope, <laughs> okay? And it explains the, the past perfect. You can watch a video. Um, and then there, there are some activities, okay? Okay. So, Mitzi, you're 22, Michelle is 30. Uh, Cesar, I mean, Yasmin, you look very young too. You look very, very I, young. Did you, did you recently finish university? Uh, two years ago. Two years ago. Yasmin looks young, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. She I'm like twenty. A teenager. <laughs> You're how 20? old? Twenty-two. Oh. You're twenty-two years. Yeah. Wow. Everybody is young here. That's good. That's good. Excellent. I'm twenty-three. Yes, man. But <laughs> come on. <laughs> we are. I I'm 23. It's just the Thank beer. you I'm for saying older. everybody young here. <laughs> I know, I get older. Everybody's young here. 
Everybody, Michelle, okay? Everybody, you too. Yeah, let's see how, how old Caesar is. Caesar is 49, he says. He sent me a message, he says he's 49. Uh, why, why he doesn't talk with us? I, he's sending all the message privately. Uh, okay. Uh, apparently, uh -huh. he's going to, this weekend, he's going to get his microphone fixed and he'll be able to talk to us. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, ladies, that is all for today. How do you feel about this exercise? It was, it was okay? It was good. Yes. Yeah, it was cool. Okay. All right, it was a good exercise to meet each other. Yes. <laughs> Talk about nice. me, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Always is about me. <laughs> well, I will see you tomorrow, ladies. Please try to be on time. And Caesar, you too. Come on, teachers. Okay. Teachers, yes. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, okay? Thank you. You too. you too. Goodbye. Bye. All right. Take care.